I wonder at the beginning should say we're not professional actors and you will notice this during the course of the video. Welcome to Red Dot Cameras. I'm Ivor Cooper, one of the directors, and this is... Mike Evans of the Macphilos blog. And this evening we're going to show you the new Leica M10P and some of its cosmetic changes first of all. Well, all the P models from the M90, M240 and, the, and now this one have had a more discreet appearance, as Leica like to claim, uh, by removing the red dot and by uh, having the top engraving showing the Leica logo and uh, the words Leica Camera Wetzlar Germany. And that actually is one of the most important features. I think people like, like that. And uh, that's one of the major attractions of the P models. And also by removing the uh, red dot, we see the screw, uh, large screw there. Over the previous N10 model, the MP version of cameras, the Leica 240 in fact, had a domed head screw. This time they've made it totally flush with the top plate, it doesn't protrude from the body. Are you aware of why that screw actually even exists, Michael? Well, I believe it's for the um, vertical adjustment of the rangefinder. It made it very easy for technicians with the M2 and M3 cameras that they could adjust the vertical alignment without having to remove the top plate. And of course, some of you may be tempted at some stage if your camera goes out of alignment to do it yourself. I don't advise it. It's not something you should try at home. You could do, cause more damage than good. Yeah, as the Germans say, finger weg. Which means? Hands off. Oh, right, OK, yeah, so don't touch that. The other item that is, again, is not different, but it is a first time on a P, they haven't actually gone with the sapphire screen. There are some other unique features about this screen, which I'll show you, but in fact it's proven that Gorilla Glass is strong enough. It's just people aren't scratching their screens. Of course, if you want to put a protective film on it, you can do. When you play back an image, this is where it's all got a lot, lot different. In fact, now, actually flip through the frames that you've taken, and this is where it gets really, really clever. You can zoom in to the image and look around. So if you want to check for sharpness as such, you can actually check. Whereas previously, you either had to zoom using these buttons to navigate round and zoom in and out, etc. So now it's become a touch screen, which makes it much more user friendly. I think it's a very useful feature. Yeah. Something I, I could see myself using. And before we leave the screen, there's another very useful feature that Leica's incorporated this time, and that is a level gauge or spirit level, so that uh, you, you see the two bars there. When you get it right on the level, you will see a green line in the middle. In case you're wondering, in fact, the M10P has still retained the size of the M10, and in fact, they've managed to keep it the same thickness as all the traditional M film cameras. It's not got any thicker. They've managed to keep it all in that same standard now body shell. The camera hasn't grown or shrunk come to that. As with all hyphen P models, uh, there is, there's usually some internal uh, technical changes. Uh, on the last MP, for instance, we had a doubling of the buffer size, which was quite an important uh, advance for uh, people and was uh, an attractive feature. This time we've got something entirely new and came as quite a surprise, and that's a near silent shutter, as like a claim. They say that it is the quietest shutter that we've had on any film camera or digital camera and that's quite an achievement. So, Ivor, what do you think about that? Well, it's, it's quite remarkable. I mean, I'm just going to fire this shutter now. It's incredibly quiet, it's quite a whisper. I think it would be a good idea if we had some comparison sounds. We have got previous cameras here, oh, so yeah. what have we got, Ivor? The M240, an M9, and of course, the M10. So let's start with the M9 quite a loud sound and it's a, a, quite a, an after sound too on the M9. What do you think? Yeah, there's, there's a linger after there the shutter's yeah. gone yeah. and it's quite a mechanical, I don't want to say tinny, but quite a mechanical sound. So that's what's next? The, then we have the 240, the 240, which followed on from the yep. M9. Yep. feel heavy, by the way. And, uh, right, the 240. Also quite loud. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's 
a little bit more positive. It doesn't quite have the lingering sound, but it's a different sound, but still quite loud, as you say. And then, of course, we've got the M10. Well, this is the one that everyone will be comparing it with in comparison with the M10P. Yeah, still quite loud, but a nice action. I've always liked the M10 mm. uh, shutter. Feels good. Yeah, it doesn't have the, the lingering sound after the, the earlier cameras seem to have, after the shutter has gone. This is positive the, the and M9, finished. Yeah. But it, there is still a positive click yeah. there. Yeah. Whereas if we go now to the new camera. Yeah, the M10P. Like a claim that it's near silent. Well, it is quiet. It's very quiet. Yeah. Yeah. I can barely hear it from here. Yeah, mm. it, it, it's much, much quieter. But yeah. the button is smoother. It has a soft feel to mm. it as well, which again is, well, I like it. It's beautiful. It's smooth. Yeah. Very, very quiet indeed. It's a nicer feel overall. Yeah. Nicer experience. Overall, I think they've well, done a fantastic job here. Yeah. With the P models, as always, there is a price premium to be paid. And in the case of the M10P, uh, how much more expensive? It's going to be £6,500 including sales tax. Which is about £650 more yeah. than the, uh, the standard M10. Yeah. The question is, is it worth it? I think it's worth it. Just the quietness of the shutter and the smoothness to me is a great benefit. Well, I think I would always um, recommend uh, buyers, if they can afford it, to go that little extra yard to, to buy mm -hmm. the, the P model because um, there's no doubt that it would hold its value better in the long run. Uh, when you look at second-hand or used um, M9s, for instance, there is always a premium for the P model, yeah, and it's right. the P model that people want primarily. And yeah. uh, I think, therefore, you might as well pay the extra and enjoy the features, knowing that when you come to sell it, you're going to recoup most of that premium. Yeah. So all that really remains for me to say is thank you very much for joining me, Mike. And of course, if you want to come and visit us here in Goswell Road, London, I'd be happy to meet you all. Come into the store. It'd be great to see you. And Mike, maybe you'd like to tell people where else they could find some more information from yourself. Thanks, Harry. Well, you can find me at macphilos.com. Bye. Bye. Bye.